so in this lecture uh, we are going to discuss about point at infinity now what is the meaning of this so you know that in the homogeneous coordinates uh, if you have a point x comma y this is the physical point and if i want to write it in the homogeneous coordinates we write it as what we write it as hx hy and h where this h was taken up to be a non zero real number okay now the in that lecture i had mentioned that uh, h equal to 0 the case h equal to 0 case will be handed out separately so we are going to discuss about this case today that what what will happen as uh, h um, as the value of h becomes small or h goes to 0 okay now you just consider a point which is uh, the physical point let me consider p to be equal to 3 comma 2 so in the homogeneous uh, coordinate systems i'm going to write this point as what i'm going to write this point as 3 2 and 1 okay so let me go to the next page now uh, this point if i try to write it as uh, so the value of h in the previous in the point 3 to 1 here yeah, the value of h is equal to how much the value of h is equal to half okay and therefore if i want this 3 to uh, the point 3 to to be represented okay what i will do is suppose i take the value of h equal to what h is equal to half what will happen here then i know that this is given by what here it is h x and h and y correct so here already h is how much here h is half this is also half so what should i write the value of x and y in this case here here the value of x and y that i should write is what 6 and 4 so that half into 6 and half into 4 will come up to be how much will will come up to be 3 2 1 1 this means that if i put h equal to half this equivalently means that i should write a 6 here i should write a 4 here so this this point also has the representation 6 4 and half if i write the value of h equal to suppose 1 by 3 then i'm going to multiply them by 3 so this will be 9 6 and h is how much h is 1 by 3 right so if you'll see observe that if h becomes very very small so you see that the value of h is becoming small from 1 it became half from half it became 1 by 3 1 by 3 it became suppose 1 by 100 okay so that equivalently means that i will write here 1 by 100 and i'm going to multiply them by 100 so it is 300 200 and 1 by 100 okay so all these things correspond to which point all these the all these homogeneous coordinates correspond to which point they actually correspond to the physical point 3 comma 2 so what will happen if h will slowly tend to 0 see here you see h is decreasing the value and now h is going to what h is going to zero as this component goes to zero because 1 upon 100 is a very small number as this component becomes very very small this component and this component the x coordinate and y coordinates they start becoming large right so this means that if h tends to zero the x coordinate and y coordinate they will tend to infinity correct so that this is the reason the point at infinity is corresponding to which value of h so so when will this become infinity when will this go to infinity if this value of h goes to what if this value of h goes to zero this is the reason what we do is we define the point of at infinity is what x y n 0 so as h tends to 0 so let me write it so as h tends to 0 okay the point at infinity is given by what is given by x y 0 okay now just try to understand i am going to write the point at infinity so this is my x axis 
this is my y-axis so here I have a point 3 2 so what is the point at infinity the point at infinity in the homogeneous coordinates will be I will draw this line so here you have your point at infinity and what is the homogeneous coordinates of that point the homogeneous coordinate of that point is 3 2 0 so what is this said this is a point at infinity in the direction 3 2 so this is point at infinity in the direction 3 comma Okay, if I want to write the point at infinity of x axis, what is the point at infinity at of x axis? I know that I can I choose any one point on the x axis. So suppose I choose the point one zero. So this is a physical point. So what is the point at infinity on the x axis? It is given by one zero zero. The last coordinate, the last so point at infinity. I will write it in the homogeneous coordinate. So what is the homogeneous coordinate of that one? 0 0 what is the point at infinity uh, of y axis it is obviously given by what the point of infinity at y axis has having homogeneous coordinates 0 1 because the point 0 1 is lying here and last coordinate is 0 okay this is the way you can write the point at infinity along any axis or along any line for example what is the point of at infinity along the line y equal to x what is the point of infinity what is point at infinity now it is easy to understand this is the line y equal to x and so this point is 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 lies on the line y equal to x and therefore what is the point at infinity the point at infinity is given by what 1 1 and 0 okay now what we know is that according to Euclid's geometry if you take any two lines these two lines will be either parallel or the two lines will be either intersecting okay this is according to the euclid's geometry but when we have defined homogeneous coordinates now we will see that we will take here two parallel lines and these two parallel lines will intersect and that is because of the the system that we have defined the homogeneous coordinate system we have defined two parallel lines will also intersect each other okay so if we write an example now we will find the point of intersection of two parallel lines first line let me take 2x plus y equal to 1 and 2x plus y equal to 2 now these two lines are parallel to each other i hope you understand that uh, why are they parallel to each other because if i write, try to write it in the form of y equal to mx plus c this is y y equal to minus 2x plus 1 and this is equal to y is equal to minus 2x plus 2 so the first line actually i will draw the figure of the first line the first line is 2x plus y equal to 1 means if i divide it by 1 here i'm going to get x upon half plus y upon 1 is equal to 1 so the intercept form is x is half and y is 1 so the line will pass through mine half and 1 like this so this this is the x intercept and half is the x intercept and 1 is the y intercept if i do about the second line i will get 2x plus y equal to 2 so to bring them in the intercept form i am going to divide the entire equation by 2 so that the right hand side remains 1 so this will become 1 and this will become 2 so this is the intercept form of the second line so it is x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 so this is the intercept these are the two intercepts x and y intercepts and when i draw them i'm going to get this particular line so this is the first line 2x plus y equal to 1 and this is 2x plus y equal to so i got these two lines they're parallel to each other and still we are asking the question that find the 
point of intersection and what is the point of intersection the point of in intersection will be at infinity okay if the point of intersection is at infinity we want to find that point what the what are the coordinates of that point which is at infinity okay so what we will do is we will convert this these two equations into a simple system so let me write it as 2x minus plus y minus 1 is equal to 0 and 2x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 and then writing it in the form the homogeneous coordinates x y 1 I have to write the first equation the first equation is 2x plus 1 y minus 1 is equal to 0 for the second equation I will write 2x plus 1 y minus 2 is equal to 0 and there is nothing in the last equation so I must have 1 equal to 1 so what should I write here so if this is a homogeneous coordinate 0 0 1 so what will I get here so I must have here 0 0 and 1 into 1 must be 1 so here I must write 1 okay so this is the way this these two equations have been written in the homogeneous coordinates in the in the matrix form so this means that this is as good as a vector x this is a matrix m and this is a another vector and I'm trying to find who is this particular person because that is the solution of the two equation here what we want to find we want to find x and y so you know I want to find this capital X this means that I will push this matrix on that side so when I push m2 on, on that side by multiplying by m inverse on the right hand side I will get this is c into m inverse so it means that this is the matrix m I have to find the inverse of this matrix but if you note that the inverse of this matrix is going to come what but the determinant of m is going to come zero the reason to that is that the first row and the second row are multiples of each other so if two rows are multiples of each other then the determinant comes up to be equal to zero that is the reason you cannot find what you cannot find m inverse so instead of writing the, the two equations in this form what we will do is we will put the third equation by ourselves we will write the third equation we will write the third equation very smartly we'll write the third equation as x equal to x so this so this is this equation is always satisfied so you have to now instead of solving the two two equations we will now solve these three equations because the third equation is always equal to true right and when i write the third equation in the form of a matrix what am i going to get if you carefully observe if i want x equal to x equal to x what must i have i don't i i will replace this column 0 0 1 by what i will smartly replace it by the third equation the first equation is satisfied second equation is written the third equation is x equal to x so i must have right hand side i must have a x over here and when i have one x i have i will get a x plus zero y plus zero is equal to x so this is the re uh, this is the way i will get a different matrix earlier the matrix was what earlier the matrix was 2 2 1 1 minus 1 minus 2 and a 0 0 1 but the problem with this was the two first two rows were multiples of each other and therefore the determinant was coming to be 0 now what I have I done smartly I have replaced here 1 0 and 0 now the first row and the second row are not multiples of each other and therefore determinant of this matrix M cannot be 0 okay now the determinant of M is not equal to 0 and therefore I can find the inverse of M and this problem is resolved and once I find the inverse of M I will multiply it by C and I will get my final solution this means that when I write X is equal to C M inverse what was C the matrix C was 0 0 X into the inverse of the matrix what is the origin of the matrix 2 2 1 1 1 0 and minus 1 minus 2 0 and its inverse now I will find its inverse by any method which is known to me I will write down the inverse directly now because this is not the theme of the course of finding the inverses so you can find this in your free time and this way I will get the inverse of the matrix 
right so this will be my x y and 1 now when I multiply the three things so when I multi multiply this matrix with this matrix I'm going to get 0 x plus 0 into 0 plus first coordinate will be x the second coordinate will be 0 into 0 0 into 0 and the third coordinate will be minus 2 x the third coordinate will be 0 0 and 0 so I'm going to get what I'm going to get the coordinates as x y 1 is given by what x minus 2 x and 0 which is equivalent to say that it is if I pull out x common I'm going to get 1 minus 2 0 so here I get the point 1 minus 2 0 so this means the intersection of the two lines the intersection point is given by what it has coordinates 1 minus 2 0 so the two lines the two parallel lines are actually intersecting at 1 minus 2 0 okay okay so now let us find the uh, point of intersection of two lines given by x plus y equal to 1 and on the another line is x plus y equal to say 2 okay now these two lines are again parallel to each other because x plus y equal to 1 is like this and x plus y equal to 2 is like this so the point of intersection is obviously at infinity okay in this case what you should do is you should simply write the line whatever line is given to you you just write the homogeneous form of that line means you just write it the constant make the constant equal to 0 and once you make the constant equal to 0 now can you find one value of x and can you find any one value of y which is satisfying uh, this particular equation i will say yes i can find x equal to 1 and y equal to minus 1 okay and then it will turn out that the point of intersection of these two lines will be at infinity will be given by 1 minus 1 and 0 this is the reason when i was doing the previous exercise what we have seen is that these were the two lines okay 2x plus y equal to 1 and 2x plus y equal to 2 i will just write the homogeneous part of the line which is 2x plus y equal to 0 and and just look at what x and what y if you write which x and which y will satisfy this particular equation it is clear that if i put x equal to minus 1 and y equal to 2 then the equation is satisfied so the point at infinity is what minus 1 2 0 it can be something different also i mean if if someone says that what if i put x equal to minus 2 y equal to 4 then still you will get the minus 2 4 and 0 okay so this will also be uh, be the correct answer or this will also be the correct answer so if you are given an objective question of this type you just have to smartly see that which which of the four options is satisfying your homogeneous equation to uh, what whatever is given to you without the constant okay so if i consider a line so if you just consider a line suppose i consider a line is 2x plus 3y equal to 2 okay uh, now this line is let me make it 6 so that it will be easy for me so i will divide by 6 to both sides so i will have say x upon 3 plus y upon 2 is equal to 1 so this means that this line is having x intercept 3 and y intercept 2 and this line is like this and can we write the homogeneous coordinates of the point at infinity so what is the homogeneous coordinates for the point at infinity so what we will do is we will again do the same trick we will write just write the homogeneous part of it which is 2x plus 3y equal to 0 and can you write any one point which which is satisfied uh, which satisfies this line so if i will write x equal to minus 3 and y is equal to 2 will do my job so the point will be minus 3 2 and 0 so this is the point at infinity on this particular line why have i ignored this six i have ignored the six because this line is also parallel to which line this line is parallel to 3x plus y equal to zero which is like this which is passing through the origin correct so i know that the point of at infinity of this line and the point at infinity of this line will be the same point because in the previous problems we have learned that two parallel lines have same point of infinity that is the reason instead of finding the point of infinity of this line 
I have found out the pointer to infinity at this line, which is easier for me because I can immediately find out the value of x and y such that 2x plus 3y becomes 0.